Next up is to wire the wings in my Hawk for the aileron and flap servos. To do this, I'm going to use a power box, one for two connectors, as you can see here. This is like the, uh, the one for one type connector, except that this is like a multiplex based connector, and you can see there's two wires coming out of it versus the singles with the one for one. So this is the one for two, right? This comes apart just like this. And it is a big loop wire as well. It's like just like the uh, the one for ones, right? So long wire, um, same type of thing. Also, I'm going to use uh, to mount in the fuselage side are the mounting frames that Powerbox sells. And this is what they look like in the package here and out of the package. And what these are is I will mount these in the side of the fuselage uh, so that the connector will sit solid in the fuse and the this end, which I'll use in the wing side, will uh, be loose. So this way you don't have vibrations holding both sides of it. You have one that will plug in. So to get started, I need to put some connectors on the end of these wires here. So this is, uh, this is a servo wire for the flap servo. You can see inside here, there's a flap servo in there. And then the longer lead I put in earlier when I built the airplane uh, is, is, is for the aileron. So I've got to put a uh, connector on that. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and cut these, cut this about this length here and go ahead and put connectors on it and then run the wire inside the fuselage and show you how the mounting frame works with the uh, male end of the connector. Connectors are on the end of the uh, two for one lead here, all plugged in. I'm going to use some of the scaffing tape to just tape them together and put them into the wing. And the wing side is done, all taped down out of the way of the linkages. Next is to make a plate for the mounting frame. So this is the mounting frame here, and that's gonna go inside of here. So I'm gonna make a quick light ply plate. Can measure this a little bit, just to get the size we need. And then cut a couple pieces out of light ply, get it mounted up, and it's done. Then I sprayed the piece of wood, satin black, and then screwed the mounting frame to the piece of wood. Then ran the connector uh, wires through the mounting frame here because the connector won't fit through it because it's too big. Push this back through. Then the back side here, take some th uh, thick zap and run it around the back side of this thing all the way around uh, and then glue it in place. I like to keep the tab forward. You can see inside the connector there. That way it's easier for me to orient the plug when I go to put the wing on. Uh, then go ahead and Put this in place and glue it in there, and then that is the two-for-one power box plug.